Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and today I am back to talk to you about a new-to-me uh, perfume house. So, I recently received in the mail three different fragrances. Uh, this is actually the only fragrances that this house carries so far. I think that it is a rather new house. Um, but without further ado, let me tell you who we're talking about here. We are talking about Alchemy Perfumes, and I'm just going to get the little brochure here so you can see. It is a house called Alchemy Perfumes, and this is a neat um, kind of concept for a perfume house. So I'm just going to go ahead and read to you what is on their website. So under our origins, it says Alchemy Perfumes is a unique spiritual beauty product. Every perfume has a luminous fragrance that changes your, vib changes your vibration, feeling closer to your whole authentic self, naturally helping you become more productive, more selective, and stepping into your personal power. Our collection is carefully selected by meditation and spiritual contemplation. Browse through our product gallery and experience shopping with Alchemy Perfume House for yourself. Um, so it's just, it's a really neat concept of uh, the notes kind of being chosen through um, meditation and kind of more spiritual avenues, which I just thought was a pretty unique uh, take on fragrance. They, the notes are also selected to kind of um, make you feel a certain way. So. With all that being said, um, let's just jump into the actual fragrances themselves. I've got three different fragrances here, and um, there is a uh, feminine fragrance, a masculine fragrance, as well as a unisex fragrance. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and start with the female fragrance. Of course, fragrances for anybody wear what you want as always but this is just how they're marketed so the first one that I want to talk about is called Alchemy 33 and this is like I say the one that is marketed towards women and I have tested all of these fragrances so I can definitely um, give you some pretty in-depth information about how they perform and such oh, gosh this Alchemy 33 is my favorite one that I received it is really, really beautiful. So this is considered a sensual oriental woody fragrance. Uh, this signature female perfume is made with a top note of bergamot, which works to instill happiness, inner confidence, and courage by actively releasing unwanted thoughts and emotions. Sandalwood supplies you with a beautiful calming effect complete with emotional health, allowing you to achieve higher levels of consciousness, and the middle notes of rose to ground you with love. The sensual patchouli will harmonize you and last for hours. So this particular fragrance, when I wore it, First of all, the longevity of these are pretty solid. I would say uh, definitely six plus hours. The sillage is moderate. It is These are not like beast mode fragrances, but you can definitely smell them and others will smell them on you as well. And the that will probably last for around the three hour mark and then after that it will uh, sit closer to the skin. And I would say that to me, this one smells uh, very similar to like Miss Dior or Miss Dior Cherie, like the newer version of it. It is really, really beautiful. It's very safe. It's a beautiful kind of soft, woody floral fragrance. And this fragrance would be perfect for somebody looking for like that perfect signature that they could wear something that they could wear every single day, any occasion, uh, just this could be somebody's signature perfume. Um, it's very, very safe. This is definitely a crowd pleaser, non-offensive. It could be worn anywhere to the office, you could wear this out. Um, it, it's just like that perfect um, fragrance. However, I will say there's nothing groundbreaking in this. Um, you can definitely find other fragrances that smell like this. And so I, I'm definitely not going to sit here and tell you that this is super unique. But it is very nice. 
It smells very high quality. That's another thing. These perfumes are all made with really good high quality ingredients and it smells very beautiful and high quality. So that is Alchemy 33 and that was definitely my favorite of the three that I received. The next one that we're going to talk about is the one that is marketed towards men, which is called Alchemy Gold. So I have worn this one as well. I love this fragrance. Um, this is beautiful. This smells like a very classic man's cologne but very very pleasing to the nose and I um, am not huge on men's fragrances for myself I don't love the way uh, cologne smell on me but this one is really really beautiful I had no problem wearing this though this does lean very very masculine it's definitely not feminine in any way but I loved the way that this one smelled and I loved the way it smelled on my skin so this is a sexy woody citrus perfume. It says Alchemy Gold sexy top note is Hedion, which is I believe that synthetic, um, it's like a synthetic molecule note. Key ingredients such as New Caledonia sandalwood instill emotional healing and a higher consciousness. Amber purifies your negativity and provides you with courage. Our lavender provides balance and healing to restore calm. This fragrance is completed with ginger, which supplies you with the personal power and intuition you seek daily. So, I mean, those are so many notes. Sandalwood, amber, ginger. Ugh, I love it. It smells so, so amazing. This is one that I will definitely be wearing myself because it just smells so good. Uh, the only problem with this one is it doesn't last too terribly long. Um, you're going to get maybe four hours out of this one before you will have to reapply it. So this one just doesn't stick around. I think because it's got a lot of the citrus notes in it and citruses tend to um, just not perform super well. But this smells so awesome that I don't even care. I would be willing to reapply this every four hours. It's beautiful, and I can only imagine. I haven't been able to let, get my husband to let me spray it on him. He's going through a phase where he doesn't want anything sprayed on him, which is really sad for me. But uh, as soon as I can, I'm going to test this on him, and I'm sure it's going to smell different, and it's going to smell awesome. But that is Alchemy Gold, and I really, really love that one. That was my second favorite. And then the last one that we have to talk about is called Alchemy Aqua, and this is the unisex fragrance. And this comes in a little bit different bottle. It's um, the, just this really beautiful brown sorry round bottle with this beautiful brown wood lid and this is more of an aquatic type smelling fragrance which typically are not my favorites but I will tell you for this being an aquatic fragrance um, I definitely don't mind it it smells really really nice on my skin this one leans a little bit um, masculine for me um, so this is considered a fresh fragrance, which I would absolutely agree with. This is a gender neutral, sorry, gender neutral fragrance created from the depths of the ocean. A luminous ocean scent bringing a sexy, calming energy so you make a lasting impression. The top notes of citrus will increase your energy. Middle notes of lily cleanse your soul and harmonize emotions. And amber purifies you of unwanted negative negativity, providing courage and sensuality. So I just think that this is a really cool concept for a fragrance company. It's almost like aromatherapy, but kind of aromatherapy for the soul, which I just think is a really cool concept. Ugh, this smells really lovely. I'm going to spray it. They've got really nice sprayers as well. And uh, this one, uh, this one has something in it that is just beautiful and fresh. Oh, I'm liking it a lot more now. Um, that is the thing I found about these smaller perfume houses as well, that you definitely uh, need to let these fragrances sit and then test them again a few weeks later because the longer that these um, fragrances sit they tend to just uh, deepen uh, typically with the smaller houses like these they are making these and bottling them 
as they're selling them so they'll get an order and then they'll and, and I'm not totally sure that's the case with this house but I would imagine so that they get the orders in and then they go ahead and produce the fragrance so with that being the case a lot of the time when they're really fresh all of those notes and ingredients and materials haven't had a lot of time to sit together and blend and meld into each other and just become really beautiful and so the longer you let these fragrances sit and the more uh, time all of the materials have to kind of marry together they they just start smelling so much more amazing that's I found that with like all of my layered fragrances um, all of my indie house fragrances my solstice scents my uh, sucre bell all of my like indie and smaller house fragrances the longer they sit the more beautiful they become and that is happening with these fragrances as well um, this one smelled much more aquatic and much more um, kind of sharp to my nose but now like when I first got it but now something beautiful and fresh and herbal is coming out of this one and it's so so stunning so that is Alchemy Aqua this one I would say performs in between the um, Alchemy 33 and the Alchemy Gold so the Alchemy 33 has been the best performer for me as far as longevity um, and just performance in general. This one is about um, the middle of the road. You're going to get, I don't know, somewhere between five to six hours out of this one. This one being a more fresh fragrance, it sits a little bit closer to the skin than, say, the Alchemy 33, but it is longer um, lasting and better performing than the Alchemy Gold, which is the men's fragrance. All three of these fragrances are really really beautiful there's nothing groundbreaking about them they're very safe these are fragrances that you could definitely blind buy and you're most likely going to enjoy them because there's nothing weird about them there's nothing like super super unique to where it's going to throw it into that category of being like polarizing or being like you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it these are just really beautiful um Gosh, there's something in this that has come out since I first tried this one um, before when I first got it that's really making it so beautiful. So anyways, guys, that is kind of an introduction to Alchemy Perfumes. It is a small house right now. I believe they're rather new. Um, I will definitely link everything below for you, so if you're interested, you can definitely go check them out. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about what is on my eyes and my lips today. On my eyes, I have the Zodiac Palette by Kathleen Lights. This is the first one that she did with ColourPop, and I love this palette. I love any collaboration that Kathleen Lights does, I just, I always think that they're the most beautiful and just fun creations. So I have most of these warm shades on. I've got um, this in the crease and then these two on the lid and then the dark brown kind of on the outer corner. And I have this one here, Gemini, in the inner corner. And yeah, I love this palette, super fun palette. And then on my lips is MAC, and this is in the shade Peach Blossom. So it's just a peachy nude. Um, I usually can't wear light nudes like this very often, but something about MAC's light nudes kind of work for me, so I'm able to wear them. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.